Hello everyone! Greetings from the riverbank. Uh, in this trip we are chasing for the brown trout. Uh, however, uh, we will use different, I, I will use different strategy. So I will go upstream today and uh, 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 what I have changed in my fishing system in terms of gear, choosing the right gear, so I will, ch I have changed uh, the sinking poly leader to shorter and low, uh, less sinking poly leader. So it's just eight feet and sink five, just to go a bit down under the surface of water. Also, I am using the longer tippet. So it's around one meter to one meter thirty centimeters tippet, just to make a larger space for trout, not to get suspicious. Uh, the line I'm using is a space shooter. The line is the most important thing in this kind of fishing because uh, you need to present the fly exact at the right place you want it. So, tight lines and let's go. Very nice deep water. It's dry. It's late afternoon, but it's still the sun is very high, so the trouts are not much active so far. So I'm just exploring new places, but this place has a shadow. So a shadow. Whew. The trout was chasing my fly. So the shadow really helps. Again, another nice pool. Of course, the direction of sunlight is not on my side. The distance. So, as closer. Oh yeah, to the evening it gets. Nice. Beautiful small trout. I have so much confidence that in the evening we can have much more action. I will put the trout in the net so I can keep it in the water. We'll make a couple of pictures and we'll release this beautiful fish. Nice small little brownie. Ooh. Yeah, go back. So, it is six in the morning and I just arrived to the first pool of today. Let's try our luck. Nice deep water and the polarized sunglasses are crucial in fishing in such kind of streams. So you are able to see underwater rocks and trees and all the obstacles where you can predict where a fish can be. Fishing in spring you should be very careful. Here you can see a nice spawning place of grayling. So it's better not to wait in this kind of this kind of gravel. Oh yeah! I was so surprised with this trout. Look. It took 
on the very kind of shallow water but with big rocks. I even didn't manage to switch on my action camera. It's a crazy day. Today I walked like 10 kilometers or more carrying all my filming stuff in my backpack so my back is in pain. But this kind of moments pays it off. Beautiful, healthy, colorful fish. So strong and so uh, healthy. I would say that again, I don't want to repeat myself too many times, but keeping fish in the net in the water while even now while I'm talking you make no harm to the fish. And it goes back to his water, yeah! So, it's the middle of the day. Uh, I took a break because uh, fishing uh, when the sun is in its peak and you have a clear sky, it's basically hopeless and uh, pointless. So it's the right time to talk about fly. So this is my fly wallet from inside. Uh, actually, it's very practical and you can place quite a decent amount of flies inside. Uh, if we talk about this fly wallet that I make, for fly fishermen, so it's the size of 11 by 17 centimeters closed. Uh, so it's with a slotted foam. It has border plates to maintain the space inside when it's closed. And also the sides of fly wallet are hardened. So this fly wallet is basically as, as a fly box and it's not squeezing, uh, having it in the pocket. The one and only, I didn't try it any other pattern. So that is uh, the imitation of leech, the famous holy booger in black color. However, I've modified uh, the fly tying concept of it, making it more simple, uh, more fast and more easy to be tied. And uh, also that is uh, articulated, so it's made of a shank and uh, a hook. It's also very effective fishing upstream because it has uh, uh, the heavy ice in the front so it provides very nice movement. Watch out the window at gathering clouds And prayed that an ocean would fall to the ground The wind in the trees, it sounds like the shore That very same sound used to knock on my door And it takes me back